Today's how-to video will cover how to create a Gmail account. The first step is going to be to open up a browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome. Once Google Chrome is open, in the search bar I'm going to type gmail.com and then hit enter. After that page loads, I do need to click on create account. And this account is going to be for myself, so I'll click on that. The next page that loads is going to ask for basic information. It's going to ask for your first name and last name. And it also needs you to create a username and a password. We will have additional videos covering how to create your username and password, so check those out. I'm going to enter my first name and my last name. And then I'm going to create a username. My username is going to be Senior Planet Practice 1234, which is in turn is going to mean my email address is Senior Planet Practice 1234 at gmail.com. I'm then going to create a password. The password needs to have at least eight characters, and it has to be a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. After entering the password twice, go ahead and click Next. Once the next page loads, it's asking you for your phone number, a recovery email address, your date of birth, and your gender. You can notice here that both phone number and recovery email address are optional. However, I do recommend using a cell phone for the phone number because if you forget your password for your account, it makes recovering your account much easier. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter a date of birth and also a gender. And then I'm going to click on next. Once the next page loads, it's going to show you the privacy and terms. On the privacy and terms, it's going to talk about how Google uses your data. So just take a few minutes and read through this. After you're finished reading through it, go ahead and click on I agree. This page will take a few minutes or a few seconds to load. It is actually doing, it's actually creating your inbox and creating that email account for you. Once that finally loads, it does load right into your Gmail. You get a welcome screen that comes up. Go ahead and click on next. And then it wants you to choose a view. You can either choose default, comfortable, or compact. Personally, I recommend default, but you are able to change this later on in settings. After you've selected your view, click on OK. And then you are in your brand new Gmail account. 